Hey, what's up guys, Theo here. Uh, in this video, I wanna briefly go over CORS. Uh, CORS stands for, as you can see on the MDM docs here, cross-origin resource sharing. And let's just read through this a little bit. So CORS is a mechanism that uses additional HTTP headers to let a user agent, a browser in this case, gain permission to access select resources from a server on a different origin. So say you're on google.com uh, and you're, um, you know, Google is trying to request some uh, data from GitHub, right? Those are two different domains. So a user agent makes a cross-origin HTTP request when it requests a resource from a different domain protocol or port than the one from which the current document originated. So an example of a cross-origin request, a page served from domain A makes a request for domain B. Um, and many pages on the web today load resources from CDN. So there's a good example of a common use case for cross-origin request. Uh, the XML HTTP request in JavaScript, this wrapper, and the fetch API, that's uh, a wrapper around this, that's promise-based, um, follow the same origin policy, which means that um, they are by default looking for the server to have that um, permitted on, on the server side um, in terms of cores being enabled. So um, let's just look down here a little bit. So basically, what you need to do um, is set on your server. This isn't. This is a pretty common use case. A lot of times, you need to set on your server. Um, you know, basically, that you're allowing for um, any sort of incoming request, whether it's for get, post, put, um, etc. So you can go ahead and read all this. I haven't read everything. Just sort of skimmed over it. Um, but what I've done is I have a very simple Express application running here, um, right? We just have Express, uh, started up our app, and we built one route to users on localhost 3000 slash users. And we're responding with some JSON, with, which is a very basic array of users. Um, and so if we look at this with a tool like Postman and we run localhost 3000 users, we send this request as a get. Um, we're going to get back this, and we can sort of see here um, it's a 200, right? So everything is good. Um, we didn't really need to do anything. And the reason Postman's able to get around this is because the user, user agent is a development tool. Um, so I was reading a little bit more about this. Uh, this doesn't need, this doesn't enforce that same origin policy um, as opposed to a user agent like a browser. So let's look at how we can get around this. Um, I have here JS bin, and now look at what happens if we try and run this same request um, in JS bin. Obviously we don't get any output here, but if we go and inspect in the developer tools down here, we, say, we see, let me run this one more time, and let's look at it, clean up that a little bit. So if we go back into our console, it says failed to load, uh, localhost 3000 users, no access control allow origin header, which just means that same origin policy is present on the request resource, the server. So origin, so again, here's a different origin. We're requesting from this resource, nulljsbin.com, and we're trying to access a resource at localhost 3000. Um, so it says if an opaque response serves your needs, set the request modes to, to no cores, but no, it's not gonna give us what, I, what we want. So this is actually something we have to configure on our server. Okay, so what we can do, um, there's a few different ways, but a common node module to use is actually cores. Um, and there's a, again, you can do it with just vanilla um, express and middleware, but we're gonna use this app.usecores, and by default, this is going to allow for every sort of uh, request to the resources. So let's change this to app.usecores and let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, there we go. Now we see we got our data back and let me take this to the next level. Let me just change this right here, response. We want to return some JSON and that returns a promise data. And then let's just log out the data to make sure we get it back, run that. There we go. So we have our data there. We have our two users, um, so that's, cores in a nutshell, we have now, it's a pretty common pattern on a public API. Um, but, you know, we can also enable it for a single route. We could put it on the route itself. This is at the top level. Uh, we can configure it, right? So we can give some options. 
uh, what domains uh, we want it to uh, accept, right? What sort of response uh, status code we want to give back. Um, and then, you know, we can also look at, you know, giving some more options in here. So you could just go through this. But I basically just wanted to sort of go, you know, methods, right? Configures the methods right here. So what I can do is I could go in here and um, let's see, where do I put this? Um, so here's the default, right? It's allowing for every origin methods. Okay, so what I could do is I could come in here, uh, cores, cores options, delegate, and uh, I could go in here and pass this in object, and I could say methods, and I just want it to be a post. Right, this doesn't really make sense for this case, but now if we come back into Postman and we try and run a git, what are we going to get? Let's see, let me change that. Let me start the, let me restart the server again and we'll just see. App.use methods is cores, cores options, methods, space code, no way. Headers, credentials, true, max age. Okay, so let me try this one more time. And I think, again, this doesn't necessarily matter for Postman, so we might still be able to get the data back with a get. It doesn't, yeah, Postman's going to block it. Um, but in this case, right, we're still getting our data back with our API right there. Um, now if I try and run this again, hold on, why is this? see why this is oh I think I need to configure it on the actual route so let me comment this out and so here's the middleware right here and we're gonna say cores so cores and methods it's going to be we just want post right again kind of doesn't make sense here um, but let me run this this is let's see why am I doing this wrong? Configures the access control allow origins. A common delimited string. Oh. Or an array example. I'll just try and put post in here. Method. Are. All right, let me try one more thing. Origin. Origin. App dot options. You can also do preflight. <clears throat> Let's see what else is there. I'm trying to think why I'm not getting it to work. Simple usage. Yeah, that's what we did at first. Configuration options, set origin to true, string set origin. <clears throat> Let me go in here and change this. We'll just say const. It's the first time I really messed with this node module, to be honest. But um, I just want to sort of look at this a little bit more. Methods, we'll just say post and um, origin is going to be local post 3000. And then we can say cores, configuration options, get users. Okay, there we go. So that's, now we're not going to get it back, right? It's going to say, has a value localhost 3000. That is not equal to the supplied origin, right? Null.jsbin.com. So now we could change this. We could go in here and say, uh, what is it? Is it HTTPS or is it just HTTP? HTTP null.jsbin.com. Uh, let's try and run this again, and there we get back. But I wanted to try one more thing. Methods. Here's the access control allow methods. Put the commas, allow headers. Array. Yeah, this is the origins. Get post. Get put post. Allowed headers. Exposed headers. Credentials. Get head. Yeah, I might be misunderstanding the 
the methods for the access control allow methods. String. So, um, option success status, and let's just try and uh, and changing this one too. So we could say option success status, and let's just give back. Let's just say four or four, no matter what what you get. So let's just run this and get 200. And then let's look at this in the developer consoles. Okay, XHR. Prince Light, Credentials, Max Age, Exposed Headers. We need to look more time at this in here and run this. Okay, so we have one option the users and response headers. Three or four. Yeah, might have to might reload this real quick. Paste in the JavaScript again, run it. So here we're getting a 202 and a 304 modified. Cool. Response headers, express, access control allow origin is this, right? So we can see that uh, it is indeed what we set it to. And let's look at one more max age. Let's just try and set that. We'll just say max age 3600, whatever. Take that out, take that out. We'll look at that next time. So I guess I'll go read up on that. Just wanted to show you guys how to configure this middleware. Okay, let's run this one more time. All right, so now, um, so now we got users and um, option, keep alive. Response. Okay, so for fetch. Wonder why it's not exposing that max age. Hmm. Um, anyways, though, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm still sort of diving deeper into that, but. For the longest time, you'll run into this, and a lot of times you think, oh, this is something I need to change with uh, my HTTP client, but it's actually a configuration of the server. So, um, you know, feel free to correct me in the comments. Just a very basic example. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like, thumbs up, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a great weekend.